Hello, um, uh, this video is about dimensional analysis. It's a follow-up video to my uh, first dimensional analysis video. I'm going to do uh, a few problems. I got some of the problems from a book, some of them I made up to, uh, to give you more examples of how to use dimensional analysis. Uh, you mainly use dimensional analysis, at least at the beginning stage, you mainly use dimensional analysis to verify your um, to verify your answer with the answer that the uh, the question is asking you in the book or on the test, or whatever. So um, let's start out with one that's relatively easy. Force is equal to mass times velocity times displacement. Okay. We know that force is mass times acceleration. Mass is equal to m. Acceleration is length over time squared. Okay, so we know what f is. F is force is this. We know mass is m here, and velocity is length over time over time and x is a displacement so we know that uh, that equals uh, this L okay so what we can do now is look oh let's see here I forgot to add this one right here okay okay now what we would do is now we would look and um, see see if they these both side both these sides equal and it's basic algebra to find out. You can just kind of pick, uh, check them off. We, we see uh, M on this side, and there's an M on this side. That's good. We see an L on this side, and there's an L on this side. That's good. We see two denominator uh, T's on this side, and only one on this side. That's a problem. Okay, plus they have an extra L on this side. So we would say these don't match. I mean, these aren't equal to each other. So, um, so if you if you were supposed to have force as an answer for a question and you got an answer like this that then and that tells you that you must have done something wrong in your calculations you should go back and and check your work to see where you made the mistake okay so we see that those aren't equivalent now um, let's try one that's a little bit more difficult time is equal to the square root of 2 times x over A, which is acceleration, displacement over acceleration. I'm going to rewrite this to this. Okay. Okay, so we know that T is equal to T. And we know that uh, I'm going to write this in the kind of the fraction form first. We know that X is equal to L because it's a length. Acceleration is length over time squared. Okay, and um, and this is to the half power. And to make that more legible and more easy to read, I'm gonna flip that acceleration over. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to distribute this uh, one half power inside, and it'll be um, one half l, one half l, l to the one half power. I'm sorry, uh, and on the bottom will be l to the one half power. And there's already two here, so if you distribute that in, this two will be two over two, so it'll be one. So that would just be t. Okay, do you understand? So if I distribute that in it'll be 2 over 2 and 2 over 2 is equal to 1 so it'll just be t these l, l to the half powers cancel out so you're left with t so we do see that t does equal t time equals time in this so t is equal time is equal to this okay okay let's do another one one a little bit more difficult a little more steps okay this is pressure pressure is equal to Velocity squared over 
this is a density, mass density, this rho, okay, over displacement x, okay. Pressure is just uh, force over area. So like I said before, force is um, its length. No, force is mass times acceleration, so it's mass times acceleration over area. Area is two lengths, so it's a length squared. Okay? So let me clean this up a little bit. So, see this guy cancels out with that guy, so it would be M. Negative one. Okay. So we know that pressure equals this. Okay. So I'm going to put it over here. Okay. Now let's do this side. Um, velocity is length over time. And these are squared. Okay, this times rho, which is uh, um, mass uh, density, and mass density is, just take my word for it, I'm not going to go through all the steps to show you that this is mass density, but this is mass density over the length. Okay, if I distribute the two into there, it would be this. I just distribute that, that 2 inside, okay? So, what's going to happen is, let me, uh, I'll bring this, that was the, the L3 down here, so this would be L4. I brought, just brought it down, okay? Now these guys all cancel, and this guy cancels to 2, okay? So what we have left is M L negative two and that right there T to the negative two. Okay, so to rewrite it again, this is the pressure is equal to this. Now you see it's close, but they're not the same. This one has only one length in the denominator, and this one has two lengths in the denominator. Everything else is the same, so it's close, but pressure is not equal to this. It's close, but they're not equal. So this one is not equal. Okay? So, so yeah, they're not, they're not equal. Alright, now, just to answer a quick question somebody had, um, I don't know if you saw the bottom of that, but they're not equal. But uh, someone asked me, isn't temperature a uh, dimension? And it's not. Temperature is just uh, energy. Because uh, E equals the Boltzmann's constant, which is K. Uh, Boltzmann's constant uh, times time, and times temperature. And temperature is in Kelvin. Okay, but the Boltzmann constant is uh, is either ergs over Kelvin. This K is Kelvin. This K is not that K. Or it's uh, electron volts over Kelvin. So, and, and this temperature is in Kelvin. So as you see, like this dimension, this Kelvin. This label Kelvin is is crossed out. The only thing that's left is uh, is the energy, the ergs or the electron volts, and the Boltzmann constant is a, is a constant. So you kind of disregard the number portion of the constant. So uh, temperature is not um, really a dimension. So it's just uh, an energy. So you would just use energy um, when you're working with uh, temperature in most cases. I hope this uh, video has been helpful. Um, oh, I'm sorry you couldn't see the whole screen, but you can figure it out. It's not it's not too difficult, and I hope this uh, helped.